What's up? Leo here at your service. I just want to talk to you guys about a little laptop that's known as the ROG Flow X13. First of all, hopefully everyone is safe. Stay indoors if you do need to go out. Wear a mask or a face shield, wash your hands. In this new world, again, it's confusing because eh? we're both locked indoors. But also, in my line of work, you have to be on the go. We're still needed in the studio, attend meetings, and I always find myself needing a platform to work on that's both thin and light, but also powerful because I need to do my work on the go. The uh, ROG Flow X13 has always been with me in my office desk and uh, in the MSC 2021 bubble specifically, I used ko and ko the uh, ROG Flow X13. Uh, in, in many cases, even in my home setup sometimes. Truly, uh, given my experience with it, I can say that Compact is the new impact. Talking about the looks of uh, the ROG Flow X13, Asus, Republic of Gamers, really has figured out a way to make that stealth look really work for them. Again, you really wouldn't know that it's a gaming laptop until you see that little emblem. Kahit dito masabing gamer siya It looks like you're, 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 you're basic workstation laptop until you actually look at the specs, right? The specs of the Flow X13, it's rocking an AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS. It has two 8 gigs worth of RAM space, so that's a total of 16 gigs. And then a terabyte of SSD storage. You're really playing with the power here. Quick startup and mahira po na ang terabyte, I promise. Uh, you also have uh, built-in NVIDIA GTX 1650 graphics card so you're already playing games at a solid uh, graphics setting and of course you want to see your games play well it's rocking that 4k ultra HD display with the different setups that I have used this in I mostly have it in laptop mode again that's a standard but you can also rock it in stand mode because again if you have a external keyboard and mouse which, which I do I always want an external keyboard and mouse and then you can also play it in tent mode which is similar to stand mode, but it, it's more for enjoying media. So, if you want to Netflix, mag YouTube, and then last but not least, which got me a lot of use during MSC and for sure in the near future in MPL Season 8, I can use it in tablet mode. Lat ng stats ko, lat ng notes, it's right there. And it's, it's so efficient. Boom! At first, I was so afraid. I worried that it would like break, but that hinge. ROG really figured out how to, to make that hinge last. Now, I want to talk about the uh, picture uh, that, that I showed earlier. No? The MSC bubble setup. Natin. You all saw this in the frame. And this, this is the XG Mobile external graphics card unit. It's Of course, it's a way to, to give power to uh, flow, but also it extends and expands your, your slots. You have an uh, external LAN cable now additional HDMI, all that goodness. And yeah, this this really makes the Flow X13 a you know, really powerful Mama Jamma. I couldn't ask for more. Cooling, this helps as well. And it really gives the Flow X13 the impact it needs while well, being so compact in itself. If you guys want to learn more about the ROG Flow X13, go ahead and visit this URL I'll be putting on your screen right now. I'll be putting it up in the description as well. Or visit ROG on their socials, all in the description. Yun lang, gusto ko na magkwento tungkol na sa isang laptop na, again, sounds cliche, but it's just life-changing. When, when you're able to experience such power in, in a really small package like this, it feels like the future is in your hands. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great day once more. This is Leo at your service. Peace out.